Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I am making alcohol ink and resin dominoes and um, you see me do this technique with other molds but today I'm using the double six domino mold and I am very excited about this. So I started off with some clear resin. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. I filled the mold in about halfway and that's so that I could later on put a solid color on the back so you won't be able to tell which domino is which. After putting the clear coat of resin in there, I went ahead and sprayed it with 91% isopropyl alcohol to get rid of the air bubbles. Feel free to use a heat gun if you wish. Do not use a torch. Once you've got your base in there, go ahead and start putting in your colors. So use any alcohol inks that you want. I used a combination of Ranger and Pinon alcohol inks in here and I used some regular ones as well as some metallics. Use any colors you want. I chose to go with cool colors for this set and I think it came out amazing. Um, another thing that I like to do is layer white in here. So typically I would layer white in a little bit sooner, but honestly, I forgot. So I put it on a little bit later than I wanted to, but that's okay. It still worked out. The white just kind of lightens it up and it's heavier, so it tends to push the other colors down. So it's kind of best to layer it once in the middle and then at the end, but either way. So once you're done with all of your colors, let that dry fully. Now I didn't video this part, but I did pour, you can see it's kind of a pearl color on the back and I just did a solid coat of that and let that fully cure so it's two layers of resin. And once that second layer is dry, go ahead and demold. You can see the depth in these, super beautiful, almost a kind of a tie-dye effect. And then you're gonna go ahead and fill in the dots and the lines. I like to use a paint marker for this, an oil-based paint marker I have found to use uh, to work best. Use black, use white, use gold, use silver, whatever you'd like that you think will match with the colors of your dominoes. And of course, after you've filled in the dots and the line, you can wipe off any excess. I usually will just put a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and wipe it off and it comes off very cleanly. So this step does take a while. I didn't do all of them in the video. Uh, just for the purpose of this, I wanted to show you doing one and I just did a couple of them. So here's the two that I did. I wiped off the excess and I think these are gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time.